Hey, what's up, people? Pen here. What's on my launch break? Figure I record a video. There is a new NVIDIA Shield update that addresses the previous update, which led to a lot of people upset. And hopefully, this update addresses some things and fixes those things for the other end user. So, if you don't see it on your home screen, all you have to do is go over to the far right side next to the clock and you're going to see something called settings. You're going to click on settings. You're going to go all the way down until you see device preferences. You're going to go to about and you're going to do something called system upgrade. And you're going to check for the upgrade. I'm going to check for upgrade again. And here we go. We have something called Shield Experience Upgrade 9.0.1. Now, before you download or download install, it's recommended that you check out what's new because it's important to read about the update, right? Considering what happened last update. So, what's new in 9.01? This is a patch release to Shield Experience 9.0 and resolves issues in the previous release, including resolves the Plex Media Server, fixes the storage permissions on Media Player, File Browser, and Letter Apps, fixes the stutter when playing interlaced content. Okay, so we're saying what's new? Tons of free movies and shows with IMDb TV. That's always a good thing. Hmm. GeForce Now. RTX 3080, stream your PC games at 4K HDR on the shield. Promising. An immersive 7.1 surround sound. So if you got the audio set up, you like GeForce now, you're good to go. Pair your shield with the Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4 or 5, or scuff controllers and start gaming in 4K. So the new upgraded apps our Apple TV, you can watch the originals of 4K Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. That's nice. I love Dolby Vision and some Dolby Atmos. Google Play Movies and TV adds Dolby Vision support. Dolby Vision is the standard when it comes to HDR. So being able to watch your Google Play content in Dolby Vision HDR 4K, that is great. Nice update. And... The IQ, IYI, you watch your most popular Asian movies, television shows for free, subtitle support, all that is there. If you have the shield and you're into gaming on the shield, the new games are added. Apex, Far Cry 6, Life is Strange, Tom Clancy. There's other enhancements. Security patch, add support for compatible Bluetooth headsets. Adds options to automatically disconnect Bluetooth devices on sleep. Adds options to match content audio resolution. Adds new Gboard keyboard option. Adds new energy saver setting for additional power customization. Adds a Stadia button support for Xbox, PlayStation, and Shield controllers. And additional bug fixes, which I'm assuming you can Google or you can go on Reddit if you really care about what they're going to be doing. So... What I'm going to do is that I'm going to download it. Why? Because it doesn't affect me. The last update didn't affect me. So I'm going to do download and install. And it said preparing to install. Shield will restart shortly. So doing my recording, I'm using ADB to bring up the shield on my Windows PC to record it. So you may see a black screen. And that is literally it. Um, the reason why you saw a pause in the video is because I'm accessing my shield to my Windows PC with ADB. So that's how I was able to get the screencasting slash recording. And when I did the update process, it actually kill the ADB command but once you hit update it's going to go through its processing it's not going to take long and then it's going to reboot then you'll be back at your home screen and that's it
that's how you successively update to the latest shield experience and hopefully it will fix any of the bugs slash issues or addresses some of the concerns that you had with the last update like i said earlier i simply wasn't affected um, by any of the changes from the last update sorry but it is what it is but hopefully you can do further research outside this video if you feel the need to update make sure you read if not just stay where you're at i'm just simply pushing out the information so this is pen inside out thank you for watching peace out